Hello everyone, Gavin from CSV Getter here. In this very brief video, we're going to show you how to take the CSV data and convert it into an XML. And with the platform, you can use your CSV data to create a live XML feed. So if you're not familiar with CSV Getter, we are a platform that lets you connect your Airtable or Notion data or indeed upload CSV data and create export URLs with this data. An export URL can be used in analysis projects and used to automatically import data into Excel, automatically backup data, create APIs and create data feeds like an XML feed. So in this brief video, I'm going to go onto the platform and upload some CSV data. So from the home screen, I'm going to press export CSV data. So I can obviously select one of my CSV files that I've already uploaded, or I can upload new. Uh, if you've not uploaded data to the platform before, it's very simple. You can just choose a file like this one and upload here. Now, here it says I've already got country full, and I'm actually overwriting the CSV. So if you've already uploaded a file with the same name, you can actually update your data by re-uploading it. And that's very important if you want to keep your XML feed up to date. So before we continue, I thought it'd be best just to show you what the CSV data I just uploaded looks like in Excel. So here's country fool. And as you can see, it's a list of each country in the world, the currency and the currency codes. So back in the platform, I'm going to select this CSV that I've just uploaded. I'm going to call my export my XML feed. So the next screen we have lets us preview a sample of the CSV data we've just uploaded. Here it has all the fields of the data from the CSV file. And um, basically, in order to create an XML feed, it's very simple. As I said, the platform lets you create an export URL, and that's what we've just done. And you can actually view this export URL here. If you're not familiar with the app Postman, Postman's a bit like a web browser, but it lets you type test sort of any URL. And it's great for sort of creating tabs and browsing the data that comes from URLs, which will give API information or data like this one. So as you can see, if I use my freshly created CSV getter URL, I will have a download of my, my CSV data. Now, in its default format, these URLs will just spit out the CSV data as it was uploaded. But what's really exciting about them is by using URL parameters, you can change the way that the data comes out. So if we want an XML feed from our data, we just add a question mark at the end of the URL. We press type equals XML. And now we have a completely different URL which is going to behave differently. And as you can see, we have created an XML feed from our data. And we can keep this feed live. We can just re-upload our CSV, and this, this URL will give the new CSV data as XML. So it's a really sort of powerful tool we've got going here. And if you're curious about what other types of data you can easily export, you can just type in, for example, JSON records at the end of here. And now we're exporting JSON data. So you can kind of build any sort of feed that you want to just by simply uploading a CSV file to our platform. So that's how to convert CSV data to XML. There's plenty more examples of how you can use the platform in our docs. And uh, we also have a help email info at csvgetter.com. So the links, the documentation, and the help email, they'll be in the description of this video. Thank you for watching.